Hello friends, welcome back to another video. I'm really excited to film today's video because just filming it and gathering everything together is really helping with my packing. When you're watching this video, my toddler and I will probably be up in the air flying across the world. So I'm actually bringing Reuben on his first long haul international trip. We're gonna be visiting Hong Kong for two weeks and we'll be joining my parents over there for a mini vacation. So it should be really interesting. And if you're watching this on the day it comes out, please wish me some luck as I will be juggling an 18 month old on my own for a really long flight. We're gonna be taking a long flight about 15 hours to Taipei and then we have a two hour layover and I believe it's two more hours from Taipei to Hong Kong. So please wish me luck, send me your prayers and I will see you guys in Hong Kong. And if you wanna see what we get up to in Hong Kong, make sure to follow me over on Instagram because that's where I'll be sharing our day-to-day -day activities. And now let's get into the video. I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I'm gonna pack for my toddler for this long haul international flight. All right, so I have my phone here because I made a list of basically categories of things that I'm gonna be bringing for my child. First, I'm gonna show you what bag I plan to pack everything into. Hopefully it all fits because I haven't really tried it yet because there's still about two weeks before we travel. But as I said, filming this video is really good to help me gather everything together and just start to get the packing rolling. So, so I plan on using this duffel from Monos as my carry-on and then I will still stick with my usual diaper bag, which is this Fjall Raven one. Um, we use this on the day-to-day -day basis, so I just brought it up to show you guys what it looks like. It's not super large, but um, I prefer a backpack diaper bag because it just keeps my hands free. So I have that. And so those are the two bags that I'll be using to pack the majority of this stuff in and probably some more as well. So the first category is clothing and so many moms who have experienced traveling with young kids have told me to pack extra clothes not only for my child but for myself as well because you never know what kind of spills might happen, blowouts, who knows. So I always no matter what in my diaper bag have a change of clothes for Ruben anyway so I'm just gonna keep that in here. I just have a simple onesie and then some comfortable loose bottoms. So those are gonna stay in the bag and then I'll pack something for myself. I'm gonna pack something super lightweight and easy to throw on. I'll do that closer to the day. So that's it for clothing. And then I do plan on bringing a mat for the floor just so that Ruben can step down and stretch his feet. And I am a little bit of a germaphobe, especially when it comes to planes because they are just so dirty and I've just heard so many stories of how there's not a lot of cleaning that goes on between flights so I just want to make sure to stay as clean as possible so I'm going to be bringing a gather mat I just haven't decided which one I'll be bringing I'll either be bringing um, this square one that I have or or this smaller rectangle one so I haven't decided yet it'll probably end up depending on how much space I have left because the bigger mat is a little bit thicker and heavier but I think it'll be really useful even when I'm in Hong Kong. So I really love the gather mat because it's made of this vegan leather material so it can be easily wiped down and disinfected and I don't have to worry about my child getting dirty on the floor. The next thing while we're on the topic of being clean are disinfectant wipes. So I went and got some Lysol disinfecting wipes. Um, these are just the on-the-go packs. I figured one pack for going there, one pack for coming back should be more than enough. Um, and then I always have my hand sanitizer as well in this little pocket here. So no matter what, I'll have some kind of disinfectant ready to go. All right, next up are diapering needs and I'm really afraid of this part. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna handle diapering on a plane, but we'll figure that out. As you may know, if you've been following me for a while, um, we actually cloth diaper Ruben. So he mainly uses cloth diapers and he only uses disposables at night or if we're in a rush or on a trip. So since we're going on a trip, I'm gonna be using disposables. So this is the bag that I use that holds all of like my diapering things. And this is by Stork. I love this bag so much. It holds a ton and it also comes with a mat. Um, so you can just lay this on top of whatever change pad there is. So Ruben's at that stage where I do his diaper changes standing. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna handle this part, but I will definitely give you guys some updates once I land. Moving on to what's gonna be in here. There is only one diaper in here, but I will make sure to add enough for our trip there. And then once we land, I'll make sure to purchase some diapers for him there. And then I just have his diaper balm and 
sunscreen. I have a bib, but he doesn't use bibs anymore, so I'll probably take this out. This was packed when he was really little, and it's still in here, so I'm gonna pack that away. Um, and then I just have Avino and some Vaseline. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be bringing all of this, but it's just nice to have um, some kind of creams on hand because Reuben does have really sensitive and dry skin. So that's typically what is in this bag here. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, one more thing is a wet bag. So I highly recommend bringing a wet bag, um, especially for wet clothes or whatever kind of messes you might want to keep contained. This is perfect. I got this one with my first pack of Norris Nursery diapers, but you can purchase wet bags anywhere. I will make sure to leave a link to everything I can in the description box below. So if you're interested in anything, make sure to check that out. Um, and then of course, I'm gonna bring a brand new pack of wipes. I used to have a travel light pack thing, but since it's such a long trip, I'm just gonna bring one full pack of wipes because I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared, especially with a baby. So next up are activities, which I did a little bit of research into because I'm not really sure how I'm gonna keep him entertained for more than 15 hours if he decides to not sleep, but I hope that he will sleep. Um, the first thing are books. Uh, Reuben really loves books and he likes books that are realistic, so pictures that show real life items. I find that these ones from Pretty Books are really good. And we also have some hand-me-downs that are a little bit, the pictures are a little bit old, but you know what? He still loves these books. And these are um, by DK. I'm not sure if these are the exact ones I'm gonna bring because they are quite thick as you can see and take up a lot of space and they're heavy. I know a ton of people recommend the indestructible books because they're really thin and lightweight. So if your child really likes that kind of book or story, um, I highly recommend those, but Ruben hasn't really been super into them at the moment, so I'm gonna have to look for some thin books that have realistic pictures in them. Otherwise, I might even just pick up a magazine at the airport that has realistic images in because he just loves that. So just basically figure out what your child is interested in and go from there. So definitely bringing books. These are just what I have in his diaper bag at the moment, but um, not sure this is what I'll be bringing exactly. Um, I'm just gonna go grab my box of activities. Okay, so I currently have this box um, where I have just hidden away things that I purchased for the plane ride because um, from the advice I've been given, I've been told not to let your child see any of these activities before the plane ride. So it's more of like a novel item to them and it's special, it's like a surprise. So, oh, um, the first thing I bought were some of these reusable sticker books. So it came in a pack of three. So there's space, there's animals, and there's my body. Um, he doesn't really know or care too much about space. So I'm not gonna bring this one, but I will bring animals and my body. And I plan on using one for the flight there and one for the flight back. If I have to dig into the second one, I will. I mean, at this point, it's just survival mode. So I'm gonna be definitely doing these reusable sticker books. And then I did purchase two packs of stickers. He loves dogs and animals. So a full sheet of dog stickers and then a full sheet of truck stickers. And um, again, one for the flight there, one for the flight back. I may just cut it in half so he gets and exposure to both types of stickers. I do plan on getting him some chunky crayons and coloring books as well, because I think it'll be fun for him to scribble. I just haven't found the right ones yet. So once I do, if, if I find it in time for this video, I'll make sure to include a little video or B-roll of it so you can see which one I got. Um, the next thing I did was I went to the dollar store and I picked up this craft bucket for like four bucks. And there are tons of things in here. So there are popsicle sticks and I plan on just getting some Velcro stickies and just putting it on the ends so that he can attach them and have a fun little activity with the popsicle sticks. There are also these foam pieces, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring yet. I can't think of an activity for this, but I will see. And then there are some feathers, just a lot of like random fun things that your kids would play. And then pom-poms, of course, because 
Ruben loves pom-poms. These are great for pretend play or you can even, I've seen people um, use the puff containers, poke a hole in it, and you can practice um, like posting the pom-poms into the puffs containers. So I'm gonna definitely bring pom-poms. There are pipe cleaners, which I don't think I'm gonna bring, not sure yet, and some googly eyes. So a craft bucket like this is great just because there's so many options in there and you can think of different activities that your kid might be interested in. Okay, so I just talked through a whole category and didn't realize that my battery had died. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. I was talking about Play-Doh, um, this Play-Doh that I made on my own. I'm gonna pack some of this Play-Doh into like a Ziploc bag so that it can be packed flat. And then currently Ruben is obsessed with scissors. So I bought him some Play-Doh scissors, which he can use on his Play-Doh. And I think it'll be really fun for him to practice cutting. Also, he can practice cutting pa like paper as well. Um, I'm hoping that they won't make me throw this out because this is gonna be my lifesaver. He is obsessed with scissors. So I'm gonna be bringing this. And then I'm also gonna purchase a couple more Play-Doh tools that he can use on the plane to like stamp or use like cookie cutters, whatever kind of tools that I can think of, I'm going to pack for him. And then the last activity that I was talking about but got cut off was um, these headphones. So I am going to download a playlist of his favorite tunes and maybe some stories and I'll have it on my phone so you can listen to it. Um, but we did, this is the one thing that I let him see, it actually arrived today and I let him open it himself. Um, and he's tried my headphones before so he knew what, what they were and like what to do with them I'm just gonna let him play around with this while we're home for the next two weeks So he gets used to having this on his head. Um, this one's great because it folds down super small There's a cord, but it can fit on both ears, which I think is super handy So depending on which side you're sitting next to your child Well, Ruben's gonna be sitting on my lap. If you had an older toddler or child, you could put it on um, either side depending on where you're sitting um, so I think that's great. So I'm gonna have some tunes ready for him. And then if I'm in dire need, I will use screen time. We don't typically give Ruben any screen time, so I don't find that he's really into it anyway, but I'm probably gonna download a few shows for him to watch. If I really need to keep him quiet or if I really need a break myself, I'm just gonna give myself some grace and give him a little bit of screen time. It's not gonna kill him, won't harm him. So if you are also planning a trip with your toddler and are struggling with, do I give them screen time or not? Um, I honestly say it's survival mode. Just do what you can to keep your child occupied and entertained. I did already talk about food, but I'm gonna re-talk about it. Um, so there are some things that are typically in my diaper bag anyway. I have these travel on the go scissors that come in this fun practical case. And then I have a set of utensils that I just shove in here and they happen to fit in nicely. So I'm gonna be bringing these. Hopefully they let me keep the scissors. They're just like ceramic, I think, so shouldn't be harmful. And then I always pack this collapsible container. It's like a collapsible lunch container. It has a silicone lid and silicone compartments. So it's really useful You can as a bowl, but you can also use it as a plate like this. And honestly, a lot of the times I just let Ruben eat off of the lid because it's lower and it's the whole thing is silicone so it sticks onto surfaces really well. So I'm gonna be bringing this for sure. And then of course you need to bring a variety of snacks because I find that snacks are the best way to keep a child occupied. So what my husband and I did was we took Ruben to the grocery store and we picked out a whole bunch of snacks together. Some new ones and some that he's never tried before. I think it'll be really fun for him to have and definitely pack some special ones that maybe you don't give often. So I'm going to be packing a bunch of pouches and bars because Ruben loves those. Um, so they'll make a really nice treat and yeah, hopefully keep him entertained and occupied. And then for milk, I bought a bunch of these Earth's Own um, oat milks because Ruben is still allergic to dairy. So I bought uh, three packs of three. Uh, I'm not sure how many I'm going to bring yet, but I just wanted to have enough just in case. They are heavy, so I don't know. If you can pack formula or something, that's probably better. Um, but this is what he drinks normally, so I wanted to kind of stick to that and have enough prepared for him. I might just bring six, I think that might be enough, but I, I just went overboard because I just wanted to be prepared. <laughs> so I'm gonna be bringing his milk and of course his water bottle, which he can also use in Hong Kong. 
So I'm gonna be bringing you that as well. And of course they're gonna be serving food on the plane as well so he can definitely have some of that as long as they are allergy safe. The next thing is sleep. So I'm gonna be packing Ruben's bunny, his nighttime bunny I'm gonna pack in my carry-on. But as I mentioned, I'm a germaphobe so I'm not gonna take it out for him on the plane. He does have a little baby bunny that I'm gonna let him use on the plane and then we'll just wash it once we land in Hong Kong. So I'm gonna pack this muslin swaddle. Um, I like this muslin one because it's really lightweight and it's more breathable than some other ones that I have and it's big, this one's really large. So it's a great all-purpose kind of blanket. Um, he can use to snuggle with it and I can use it to cover the stroller. Um, if I'm wearing him, I can cover him as well, just to make any environment a little bit more dark and cozy for sleep. So I'm gonna bring one of these. And next, um, make sure to bring any kind of medication that you or your child might need. I'm gonna be bringing some infant Tylenol just in case. Um, any creams that Ruben is using for his skin. Make sure you have all of that necessary stuff in your immediate carry-on bag and then any medication or vitamins that I might be taking. I'm gonna be bringing my Sakura Bloom Carrier, hopefully rock him to sleep before the flight and then I can just let him stay asleep in the wrap. For around the airport, I'm gonna be bringing our travel stroller. We actually purchased this for our trip to New York back in November and it was super useful. Um, and we use it on a day-to-day -day basis because it's just so handy. You can open and close it with one hand and it packs up super small. I believe it can actually be stored in the overhead compartment, um, but I'll probably gate check it and then the flight attendants will have it ready for me when we land. It's handy to have to carry your child, to carry your things, especially if you are traveling alone. So I'm definitely gonna be bringing a little travel stroller with me. I think that's all the gear that I'm gonna be bringing. Yeah, I think that's it. If I think of anything else, I'll make sure to leave it linked down below. I'll make sure to link as much as I can um, down in the description box below if you want to check anything out for your own trip. I hope that this was a little bit helpful for you. It can be quite overwhelming. I found it really helpful to watch YouTube videos on this as well, so I thought I would make my own version and hopefully give you a few tips. As of now, I have not experienced this yet, so I can't let you know what worked and what didn't. But if you'd like to see a video of what worked and what didn't from what I packed, let me know in the comments down below and I will make sure to film that when I get back from my trip. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram so you can follow our adventures. Um, subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you guys next time. Bye.